Hey guys, Mr. Went back. Um, today we're uh, continuing this video. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at circuit theory examples. We're going to deal with a series circuit and a parallel circuit. So in the last videos <clears throat> we kind of saw what those dealt with and now we're going to have some examples. So I've got drawn up here a series circuit. You can see the electricity flows from positive to negative and it has to go through each component. And we have R1, we have R2, and R3. And their values are 220 ohms for R1. R2 is 470 ohms. <clears throat> and R3 is 1.2 kilo ohms. Okay. So we've got these three resistors, and, and there's a couple things we want to find out. Um, we know that the current flowing through every circuit, or through the series circuit, is the same. So the, the current flowing through every component is going to be the same, so I is equal. So the I for R1 is going to be the same as the I for R2 is R, I for R3. So we can say that we need to find the I for the circuit. And Ohm's law says that uh, is V I R. Okay, it looks like that. Uh, we know I is going to be the same, but we don't really know what it is. <clears throat> um, and we also have a 12 volt system here. So according to this, we know our voltage is equal to 12 volts. <clears throat> total resistance is going to be all these resistors added up. So our total resistance is going to end up being, if we add all these guys together, we get 1,890 ohms. So RT is equal to 1,890 ohms. And that's just 220 plus 470 plus 1,200. And if we put that in the correct SI notation, um, what we'll get is 1.89 kilo ohms. Okay. So that number right there can get plugged into here. We know voltage is 12 volts. We know the resistance is equal to 1.89 kilo ohms. So basically we're going to do this to find out what our total current is for our circuit. We're going to go ahead and do 12 volts divided by uh, 1,890 ohms. That will equal our total current. And that comes out to 0 0.006. Oh, excuse me pause for a second. Oh, that was right. So if we take our, our total current, that comes out to, there's my arrow, comes out to 0 0.00634, um, 6349. Okay. Definitely not proper SI notation, so we got to move it over the three spaces. Um, and what we get is 6.349 milliamps for our current. So that's our total current right there. So we've used Ohm's law to figure out we have our voltage here, we have our total current here, and we have our total resistance here. There's our three figures that we need. Now we need to verify that using Kirchhoff's law. Okay, so if we take this guy and we need to make sure that this all works. So now we need Kirchhoff's law. So let's choose a different color. Let's do uh, let's do blue this time. So Kirchhoff. And Kirchhoff's voltage law said that the total voltage is equal to the voltage at each component summed up. So the voltage of R1 or the voltage at component 1 plus the voltage at R2 plus the voltage at R3. That's Kirchhoff's law right there. So if we use Ohm's law 
to, to kind of sort these out, we know that we have um, our components up there. So we had a we have 12 volts coming in the system, and R1 was 220 ohms. R2 was 470 ohms, and R3 was 1.2K. Okay, so we know those figures there, so we need to find out um, what the voltage is on either one of them. Now we know that the current, this guy right here, is the same on all of these. So it's uh, 6.349. So basically, what we do to find Ohm's Law, if we take the first one, R1, so VR1, is equal to 6.349 milliamps times 220 ohms. <clears throat> that will give us a total of 1.397 volts. That's at resistor 1. Okay. If we do the same thing at VR2, we have the same amperage, so 6.349 milliamps. We multiply that by 470 ohms, and we get 2.984 volts. And then VR3, same thing again, uh, 6.349 milliamps. Multiply that by 1.2. 2k ohms and that will give us 7.619 volts and if we add those all up should come out to 12 volts okay and then that verifies um, that we did everything right so Kirchhoff is a verification that you did everything how you needed it to happen Okay, so that's with a series circuit. This is all series. So now let's take a look at a parallel circuit because a parallel circuit gets a little bit different. <clears throat> let's do oh, yellow. Okay, a parallel circuit, we basically have our circuit coming through. We've got three resistors again to minus. But now we have multiple routes that that electricity can travel through. So we have to take into account those. So we have R1, R2, and R3. And we're going to do some different voltages. So let's see, we have 470 ohms we have 2.2 kilo ohms and 3.3 .3 kilo ohms <coughs> excuse me so there's our things there and we have 15 volts to start out with okay now we know in a parallel circuit that the voltage um, across every component is equal all right, that's a little bit different than a series circuit. In a series circuit, the current was equal. So this 15 volts is never going to change. So Ohm's law Okay. We know that voltage is always going to equal 15 volts. And the current will change and obviously the resistance will change. So basically, what we need to do is find out the current Actually, first, before we can find out total current, we need to find out what RT is. So the total resistance in a parallel circuit is equal to 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So um, in your calculator, you'd have to figure out what each one of these is and then just add them all up. And what we end up getting, if we do that, so we have... Uh, 1 over 470 plus 1 over 2.2K 2 .2 plus 1 over 
plus 1 over 3.3 K gives us a total for our T of 346.59 ohms. Okay, now we have RT. We already know the total voltage because that's not going to change. So now we can find out what is the total current. <clears throat> okay, so now um, we can go ahead and figure out what the, the current is on these. Actually, we don't know total current yet. We're going to use uh, Kirchhoff to find that. And Kirchhoff's law on a parallel circuit states that the total current is equal to all the currents of each component. So now, you know, it's really easy. You go uh, IR1 is equal to uh, the voltage divided by resistance of 1. Because this, this resistor 1... So we're using Ohm's law again. I is equal, we're trying to find I, so V over R. So voltage, 15 volts over 470 ohms. So IR1 is 31.915 milliamps. Okay. Do the same thing for IR2. 15 volts over 2.2 kilo ohms. Let me get a little more space here. And then that gives us 6.818 milliamps. And I R3, again 15 volts, and our uh, resistance was 3.3 .3 kilo ohms and that gives us um, 44.545 milliamps 5.45 milliamps now Kirchhoff's law says that IT total current is equal to the sum of the current at resistor 1 plus current of resistor 2, plus the current at resistor 3. Okay, so basically we take all these up, take all these and we add them up, <clears throat> and we get a total of 43.278 milliamps. Okay, so that number right there is IT. So now we've solved IT, we've solved total resistance, voltage doesn't change. So here the really the tricky part is to remember that total resistance is 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Okay. Now what that might look like in a calculator is really different for each calculator, but Generally, you can do 1 divided by, and then you can put it in parentheses. You go, um, this whole thing is going to be divided, so then you have uh, another parenthesis, 1 divided by R1 plus parenthesis, let's see if I have any more room here, I think I'm running out of room, plus uh 1 divided by R, yeah, see I'm out of space, so let's go down here, R2, so on and so forth. And then you parenthesis it out and you should be okay. So if you want to try to do it in the calculator, you can. Try these examples, um, work through them, and then you should be able to work through some of the problem sets that you're given later. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.